Lesson seventy four. He meis. So in this lesson, we have yet another pronoun that is optional. You can use it along with a verb if you want to. It can be used for emphasis or for clarity. This particular one means we, and so you can put he meis along with es men and say we are. And Catherine, I threw in a few、uh, exercise sentences here, just to give the reader some practice. For example, three and four say the same thing, but just with reversed word order. And exercise two means the same thing as exercises three and four. Just exercises three and four have the pronoun explicitly there, whereas exercise two has just the verb. So in number two, the translation would be "we are," but then in number three. It would still be we are, but with the optional pronoun he meis, the pronoun could be drawing emphasis to the speakers, or emphasizing that the speakers are the subject of the sentence and not some other people. So again, a pronoun can emphasize the meaning of a verb, clarify, or somehow add expressiveness to what the speaker is trying to communicate. 